Bear Hill Shire. Today we're going to be testing our mobile uh, chokehold forge here. Right now we've got it up. It's running right now. We're just making sure that the poles are getting nice and hot. Uh, we are going to be doing some metal work today. So over here, we're gonna we have our jig here. We're gonna be start. We're gonna make some uh, buckles, like buckle belt buckles. So once this is at a nice consistency, then we'll grab our So that bucket of water is doing two things for us. One, it's catching all that, all the clinkers and all that hot stuff that falls to the bottom of our pipe. And it separates our intake from getting destroyed by all those clinkers. So in order to keep the air going up, we put a bucket of water underneath to both force the air to travel up through our forge and to cool off, cool off and catch all those clinkers and other stuff. All right, that we have just formed our initial uh, bend for our buckle, so that is our D shape. So we're gonna set it back in the forge. The next step I think I'm gonna do is I am going to on these two ends here, I'm going to flatten them on one side, fan them out, and then we'll, that'll allow us to do is to come transition to this part of our jig, so we can actually bend them over, so we can put our uh, belt pin in, a round piece. So, we'll, we'll do that now. So, This, uh, I think this is 3 16th stock, a round stock. And we'll basically be taking those two fans once we have those uh, pre done with a little bit of curl in it. We'll set this in here and we'll beat those over so it'll hold on like this. So you'll have a buckle that's kind of like looking like this. Because something is fireproof by nature does not make it fireproof. We're talking about parts that are not even 16 
Alright, so this can... I think that'll hold it. Okay. That is our initial D belt for now. But we have one more thing to do with it. Well, two more. So two more things we need to do. We need to make twist. We need to twist it to give a little bit of decoration and we need to put the pin in here for the actual holding the belt. So first let's get this twisted. <laughs> yeah, you and Keaton are the two strongest guys we have here. Like, I, I really don't know how to Are you going to leave the bend in it? Yep. Alright, so we just got done uh, testing our mobile port here. Uh, overall, I'd say it works pretty well. A uh, few things we need to do with it though, a uh, few modifications. Probably going to have to bore this hole out in this uh, adapter pipe so this actually slides in. That's easy fix. Um, weight the bottom. Hmm? Weight the bottom. Yeah, we need to put some weight on the bottom of this as well because when we pick up on it, it does tend to want to, the whole thing wants to pick up because there's so much. It's trying to suck a lot of air and it's it's hard for that to pick up fast. 
Um, other than that, I don't really see any other issues with this. That, that's about it. Uh, for our buckle here, our first one didn't turn out very good, but that was our first one trying to do all everything. But this one, second one, turned out pretty good. See it actually pretty nice and spins freely. You got a nice curl here. So when you actually put this on your belt, it'll go like this, won't dig in. So I think that'll, work, that'll look pretty good. Um, the only thing I think we have to do with this is put some solder in here to make sure this stays in place and a wire brush knife. 